Now, Amy, when I, Amy and I went to Coachella, um, we, so it's this big music festival out in the American desert and uh, it, we were staying like 25 miles away from the festival, but like in the nearest big town. And so we assumed that it'd be like an Australian festival. I love that we assumed. You know, go to a foreign country, drive on the opposite side of the road, go to a place we've never been before. I assume in the middle of the desert, everything will be exactly the same as it is in Australia. So in the morning, we're going out this festival. We've um, like, we got, we got in this limo with these people who were just out the front of the hotel. We said we could get in their limo. Brilliant. Awesome. This is awesome. We're sharing a limo out with these guys. We go to this festival, it's 40 degrees. It's in the middle of the desert. At midnight, yeah, when it all shuts down, everyone either camps there or drinks and drives their pickup trucks through the desert. There are no cabs. Yeah. There are no buses. There is yeah. no public transport all back to town, which we just could not believe when we discovered that at 5 to 12 that night. Yeah, right. As opposed to maybe any time that day when we could have inquired. And so we've decided, oh, well, we've got to walk to an intersection or something and get a cab. And we're pretty drunk. And when by drunk, I mean high. <laughs> and, and by high. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're walking through the desert. It's like, we've had this massive day. And we're like, oh my God. Like we're in the middle of the desert, you know. Maybe we should just like sleep under a like palm tree and wake up in the morning and take it from there or whatever. Sleep under you know? a palm tree, like a Warner Brothers cartoon. Like Honestly, guys in the I... desert. You saw a mirage, did you? Yeah. Did well, Amy turn into like a giant turkey or something like that because you were so hungry? <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what it was like right <laughs> so finally this dude has pulled up next to us in this like pickup truck it's out of Wolf Creek yeah <laughs> totally right this guy has a beard right he has those tattoos that look like they have their own tattoos yeah yeah, yeah prison tats yeah but my favourite thing that he has is an eye patch an eye patch and I'm like, oh my God. But we, we had this little debate and we're like, well, we can walk for another two hours or we can risk our lives dying in the desert. And we thought, oh, well, fuck it. <laughs> Let's have a crack. <laughs> so I've got in the front and I am trying my best to be this dude's friend because I just assume if we are mates, then he cannot kill me we, if we ever bond. Yeah. So I'm asking about his family, about his life, about his whole story, right? And Amy's in the back seat looking for evidence, you know, like looking for like, and she's found this like pencil from our hotel and stuff. So like, you know, there's a little bit of stuff that's looking like it might be okay. But the whole time... How did I, he know you were from the hotel? Just well, seeing you in the car. Okay. Well, this is like, how would you know? That's why we were suspicious. Yeah. But... So the whole time I'm trying to avoid mentioning the iPad, right? So I'm not even saying the word I. I'm like, we have done this today. Like, you know, just anything. It, I would not mention from the back seat has just come this voice and Amy's like, what the fuck happened to your eye? <laughs> anyway, it turned out he was happy to talk about it. He was one of like five people in the world who have had, well, so he said, who have had this rare form of like eye cancer, eyeball, cancer of your eyeball. Oh, God. Yeah. That's like the worst of the cancers. Isn't that, it? I reckon that would be, it's got to make you finals. Oh. Like, I don't know. Like, cancer in itself. Yeah, cancer bad, in itself. Right? Like, I don't think there's heaps of good cancers. No. Testicular, uh, eye, mouth. Yeah. Anus. Um, all the other people that had this eyeball cancer had tried to save their eye and got, like, treatment. He decided the minute he heard it that he was going to get his eyeball removed. So he got his entire eyeball removed. Right. Was he blind in the eye? Yes. Oh, okay. And he used to be a tattoo artist, but could not be a tattoo artist anymore no because you know depth what? Perception. No depth perception. That's right. <laughs> you can't be a tattoo artist when you're a big bloke with an eye patch. Apparently, it doesn't elicit uh, a lot of confidence. So he still owned his tattoo parlor, but he wasn't able to work there anymore. So he became a gardener at the hotel that okay. we were staying at. Ah, it's all because back checking down, out. down there they all have um, like golf courses attached to these this in Palm hotels Springs. in Palm Springs. Yeah. And uh, so him and his mates would go down to the local bar and they would do shots out of his eye socket. Okay. Yeah. Would you do it? If you were still scared in that car, like before, you know, you'd figured him out that he's actually legit. Yeah. If he had said, you know, get in my car, son, you're gonna do a shot out of my eye, would you have done it? Like you thought your life of was alcohol. in danger? Yeah, not what else? Cum. I don't know. No, a shot of cum. <laughs> I just jacked off into my eye socket. Now you're gonna drink it. Open did up. He, did he jack off directly into his eye socket, or did he have like some sort of funnel or something that? Because it would be well, you couldn't. My point Mate. being that if he is such a good aim. Like, he only has one eye, yeah. and he still has, like, without depth perception and one eye, 
he still has enough control to ejaculate straight into his eye socket. You don't reckon you could do that? No way! That you distance? Are you serious? Get down low, I mean, I could dude. do it, but like by that distance, it sprays out in all sorts of directions. What are you talking about? You could easily put your... Think, could you shoot yourself in the eye with your cum? Wouldn't it have like sprayed out a bit by then? Just get right... Hang on. Oh, I'm gonna, my head's right going to go down. off mic. I'm okay. saying to squat down. But that's not or, a, that's not a very or alternatively, place to ejaculate. go back on your shoulders so your hips are higher. <laughs> Charlie has a series of diagrams that are available for download. It's funny, I have never actually contemplated shooting my eye socket with gum, but, but it like, well, say, off the top of my head, say well, if it was like one of those events on Survivor where, like, you know, like they're trying to throw water into a bucket and, like, you know, the, like, you know, like it's, and say, so, like, do you go for a slow throw and try to get lots of water in, or do you like, like, you know, say he had to, like, three-quarter fill. I think if he got a drop in, that would quantify you having to suck it out. Oh, okay. I mean, we're not saying it's to fill it up. Oh, right. I don't know how, even know how much an eye socket would hold. but I, I reckon an eye socket would be more than ample for one load. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm no expert on this. Anyone topic. listening to this, but, if you want to email us. <laughs> no, but can I ask you this? Like, because I don't think, like, I just... I, I'm sorry that I need my, like... Um, desert predators to be more like outrageous but I just don't think he, he, if he'd stop the car and said you've got to do a shot of alcohol out of my eye socket that doesn't seem fucked up enough to me <laughs> like I would be like oh yeah yeah right. right so we're cool now what if he said it was his cum well see then I mean I'd still do it but <laughs> <laughs> it, but he's swallowing um, like some like seedy bearded yeah, hillbilly truckers semen any worse if it's drunk out of his eye socket? Um, like, does that make it any worse? Like, if he just said, you have to drink my semen, I don't think there's anything like... Well, okay, you either have to give him a blowjob or suck it out of his eye socket, what do you do? Probably suck it. Yeah. I think it's so. easier, it's quicker. Okay, well, what about he said he'll jack off and come into your mouth? Yeah. Or... Sock it. Yeah, I think so. Sock it's more of a story. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna, if it's, it's, if it's ever gonna like, it's not a good way of telling that story unless there's a socket it's, involved. It's the like, socket it, gives it a mystery. It's kind of weird though. It's, it's, I don't know how I figured this, but it's almost kind of you were at lower status <laughs> if he's coming in your mouth. You yeah. sort of got a bit of status, like it's, it's less kind of humiliating. It's less, um, yeah, it's submissive, less degrading. Yep. Less degrading to suck cum out of someone's eye than out of yeah, their dick. Definitely. And and, um, and they're words to live by. Yeah. Now, can I ask? But on that, like if. These were your options, right? Where you had to like, he was going to like come in your mouth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you had to suck the semen out of his eye socket. Yeah. Or you had to drink three times the semen. No, semen of <laughs> semen of him yeah. and two of his hillbilly mates. Are they right? Yeah. All right, but you could have it mixed in with like a boost juice. Uh, boost so juice. it's like your usual boost juice, but like with yeah, that, three hillbilly semen in it. Have I? Uh, but I just have I met them, or can I get like <laughs> that? Doesn't matter. Well, <laughs> doesn't, I don't know. Does it matter if you've met them? Well, maybe one. Is, of them, how does that make it better or worse? Yeah, good point. I thought, maybe if you could tell one of them had like leprosy or AIDS or something like that, you right. would sort of be less inclined uh, okay. to drink. Well, no, no. Let's assume. But then again, I don't know. This guy doesn't. Have let's AIDS. assume that he's that got a medical it's a, <laughs> for every one of them. <laughs> it's weird. Listen, that, that, <laughs> boy, you're going to drink the cum of me and my three buddies. But just to make sure you're not going to get infected, I got three certificates showing we've got a clean bill of health. <laughs> now, drink it. What we're in this for is the integrity of your choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no monster. <laughs> um, yeah, and no, I'd go to boost juice, I think. Because I could, I could pretend. Like, I mean, when you're sucking cum out of a dick or an eye socket, there's yeah. no disguising it's out of a dick or an eye socket. Yeah, but if you, if like, you multiply mix the Mix it with some fresh berries and muesli. Totally. Get some soy milk, honey. Yeah. <laughs> it should be on the uh, new boost juice uh, menu. You know, they've Would got you all like the, they've got a their... protein boost, an immunity boost, or Darren can jack off and you run and run. Well, you know, they've got all their cute names. It's like breakfast to go-go, <laughs> berry blast. The semen sipper. Yeah, you're a spunk. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So, um, all that. <laughs> I've 